We're here with Flip Brazil in the uh, municipal of Araçuaí, and this program was set up to help students from the University of Washington partner with people here in this region to make films around the broad questions of human rights, uh, social justice, and environmental protection. In this program, actually has three components. It has a Portuguese language component, it has a human rights component, and it has a media production component. And uh, actually our intent is that all of these components overlap so that they are learning Portuguese and they're learning about social movements and human rights in Brazil and that also through the media component they are able to search and interview and explore a particular issue in Brazil and produce a media production that overlaps with human rights. So a lot of the students are doing different projects around issues of education, issues of sustainable agriculture, um, music, uh, looking at graffiti arts, um, issues of access and disability. So these are all things that um, have a human rights component to them, but in the context of Araswai and Brazil, it is about really claiming those spaces for your human rights and as a human right. I'm Lucas and I'm a communication major. I'm Ryan McNamee. I'm a communication major as well. So I'm Sydney and I'm a CHID major and a Latin American Studies minor and we're doing a project on graffiti. Our main focus is graffiti in Sao Paulo and its connection to human rights. In Sao Paulo it's everywhere. Like it's, it's like a second skin for the, the city essentially. Um, it was a lot more artistic, a lot more detail went into it. These faces that were painted so beautifully on walls. It was, some, it was a graffiti I'd never seen before. para agregar isso daí, porque muitos lugares, muitas regiões não tem um espaço cultural para nem tanto para os artistas se apresentarem, as artistas desses locais se apresentarem, nem para a comunidade também que não tem essa oportunidade de conhecer algumas outras formas artísticas. E o grafite eu acho que ele tem essa força assim tremenda aqui em São Paulo, porque é uma maneira de comunicação sem limites, é totalmente democrática. Tá na rua você já está tem, tendo um posicionamento político. Então, a partir do momento que você sai da sua casa com uma mala de tinta e vai para a rua pintar, você já está quebrando um padrão. Então, você já está tendo um posicionamento político. O grafite está no muro, está na cidade, qualquer um tem acesso. Então, o mesmo artista que faz grafite pode fazer pintura utilizando a técnica do grafite e expor em museu? Pode. Mas é interessante diferenciar que grafite é aquele que está na cidade. We brought a media component into this project specifically because media is one tool that you can use to um, investigate issues of human rights in the context of Brazil. And we thought it would be a really rich way for students to get engaged with projects that they might not otherwise get engaged in because now they have to actually go out and ask questions and interview people. And one of the important things of um, telling those stories here with people is that this project is about working with people to get those stories instead of doing projects just about people. My name is Jaime Espinoza. I'm Tom Pepe. We're both students at the University of Washington. We were part of the Flip Brazil program and we went down there and did a project on hip hop in Brazil. Um, we looked at class disparity and exclusion and we made a joint hip hop project that focused on the topic of social awareness and activism. We worked with Douglas, um, Aliado JG, and Mano Ativo, which means active man, and they formed Familia Rajando Sistema, family fighting the system. Yeah. <laughs> 
first up on Bressa The ghetto is favela Governo is corruption Politicians won't help ya Capitalism take your souls And what they sell you We got kids with guns Education, drugs Esperamos juntos for Dios from up above Cause we represent the prophets Do us who us from the club Who trying to stop these devils By giving my people's love Glauber Hosha had this scene uh, A camera in the hand An idea in the head and Chao added one other element to it, a uh, uh, valor na coração. So like a, 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 a values in the heart, a, a sort of ethics and morality and responsibility in which we don't want you just to go make film for the sake of making film, but it has to be really connected to these broader projects about better understanding our world. I'm Angelina Nedredskaya and I was on the Flip Brazil trip and my project was on working with the Pankaru, uh, which is an indigenous community and I looked at land rights um, as well as um, land rights and how that relates to s sustainable communities and how the Pankaru specifically works to sustain um, their land and the progress which they have made with their land in terms of benefits for the community. É, meu nome é Cleonice, eu sou do povo Pancararu. Hoje eu estou morando aqui em Minas, é, pertenço a um, uma pequena aldeia, né? a aldeia Sinta Vervilha Jundiva, que tem dois povos juntos, que é o povo Pataxó e o povo Pancararu. Então, o nosso trabalho é esse, né? de estar revitalizando não a, a, assim, a nossa cultura, mas também tentar é, revitalizar o ambiente, né? deixar o a capoeira crescer, a floresta florir, né? e a gente plantar onde está necessitando de árvore mais de grande porte. Né? Por exemplo, hoje nós ganhamos as mudas e a gente vai fazer esse trabalho de estar começando a revitalizar a área que já foi compactada, já foi desmatada. Né? Pois é, o, o trabalho que a gente está fazendo aqui é justamente pensando nas futuras gerações, né? Nos, nas crianças que estão crescendo, os filhos da gente, os netos, nada, de, nada disso, né, dessa educação, saúde, é, essa questão da, da cultura, da religião, da, da, da vida do povo, a sobrevivência do nosso povo, o povo Pancararu, o povo Pataxó, não seria possível sem a terra. My name is Selma Collins, I'm a senior on the Global Studies University of, University of Washington, so my project is access for the disabled people. Like I realized that how bad is the sidewalks or how bad is the bus, uh, bus or transportation. There is nothing for the disabled people. I went to Brazil for six weeks and studied human rights, access for the disabled. And nós precisamos pensar a diferença. As pessoas são iguais em dignidade, mas são diferentes em termos de constituição corporal. Há uma relação direta com os direitos humanos, porque quem trabalha com direitos humanos pensa a garantia da, de uma vida digna para todas as pessoas. Every country, né, every city on the world, they do have this problem. But it's just a matter of fact that like which country you want to talk about it, which country you really want to learn, because it's a global problem, but it differs on the people to people. Their struggle is not only access into the street. Their struggle is most like access into the through to their life. They have to deal with the access part of the issue every single of the minute of their life. Media production is different from writing a research paper because it's an immersive project. Uh, students actually get to meet with the community, work with the community, and actually collaborate with that community to get a better understanding of what what it is that they're researching. My name is Amanda. I'm majoring in philosophy and English, double major. I'm a senior, graduating in June. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm Nicolette, um, I'm a senior as well and I'm getting my degree in communication. My name is Jasmine Walton, my major is Self and Society and my minor is in Human Rights and I'm a senior this year. Um, Amanda and I and Jasmine are doing our project on education, access to education in terms of different socioeconomic classes. And the effects of education on economic mobility. Sir Criança is an alternative that makes the children grow, an alternative that has been attracting the rest of the country. 
It's a difference that other schools want to learn from. It's an example for them to see why their children get so involved and why their students like going there. So this is a question for a lot of other schools and educators, big people in the country. Clyde believes this is the answer. Everything you see there is the answer. It's the connections between educators, students, the culture of the region, and the people from the community that come to help. This is the big difference, the big alternative that attracts so many people to see why the school is like that, why the school works so well, and why the school succeeds. She believes that this is their greatest achievement and her greatest pride in her life. Oh uh -huh.